Hey guys, Puggos Pizzeria here, back with another video, and in today's video, we have a whole bunch of exciting FNAF news that we will be going over, but first, uh, in case you aren't already, please subscribe, uh, for all my subscribers, uh, I am giving away a Nightmare Cupcake plushie, so if you would want to win this Nightmare Cupcake plushie, all you gotta do is subscribe and comment, I'm subscribed, and you're entered into winning this Nightmare Cupcake plushie, it's a completely free way to win, like, a $50 plushie, so why would you not want to do it, you for most YouTube channels, when you subscribe, there's there's no point in you subscribing. But if you subscribe to my channel, you have a chance of getting a Nightmare Cupcake plushie. And I did order two of each of the Security Breach statues, so who knows, might even give those away. So make sure you're subscribed, because a lot of you haven't really been subscribing. So uh, the more you that subscribe, the faster you guys can win a Nightmare Cupcake plushie. And then other giveaways I will do soon. But uh, let's get right into the news in this video. <coughs> so the first major piece of news that we have is is the FNAF movie update. Now, we did get a update, not from, like, the guy working on it, but from Scott Cawthon himself. Now, this was a post on Reddit of someone saying, like, oh, the FNAF movie update, it's in the works, and things like that. And Scott says, yes, this couldn't be anything but true. The FNAF movie update has been in the works, and it may seem like nothing is happening, but actually, quite a lot is happening. Um, they're hiring a whole bunch of really good cast, they're getting a really good script, and he said he really liked the recent screenplay that they tried with it. So, it really seems like the Finance of Freddy's movie... So many things are happening, but they're all sort of happening behind the scenes, because uh, Scott doesn't want any of this to be revealed, but it really sounds like a lot is going on, so that is very exciting. Who knows, we could get a 2021-2022 release date. That would honestly be, be, like, just be amazing if we could. I would personally love uh, any of these release dates. Since we haven't gotten a trailer yet or any super major news, I would assume it's a 2022 release date, but that is still very exciting. For the Finance of Freddy's movie, uh, I really cannot wait for this movie to come out. It really seems like Scott is taking a while to make this movie, but it's worth it because he's putting so much effort into this movie. I am very excited to see the Five Nights at Freddy's movie in the amazing cast that Scott Cawthon has, uh, like, sort of talked about in this post. Now, the next piece of news we have after that is actually dealing with Funko. So, we actually have two pieces of news. The first piece of news, uh, you guys might not know about, but yesterday, uh, Funko, it was the anniversary of FNAF 2, I'm pretty sure, November 10th, but Funko kept posting all over, like, Instagram and Twitter, uh, like, Funko FNAF Friday? Uh, really didn't make sense, really sort of just came out of nowhere, I guess. Uh, I had no idea where they got this Funko FNAF Friday thing from. Uh, it really is sort of weird for them to just do something really random like this. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense on FNAF 2's anniversary, but still, it really doesn't. And in almost all the posts, they say, what wave, like, what FNAF game would you, do you guys like the most, or what one, yeah, something like that. Now, this could just be something to get the audience into the actual, you know, games, like, for Five Nights at Freddy's and stuff, but I actually think that this is Funko asking what they, what the fans want the next series to be. So, that's why they made so many posts about it. If they get, uh, they're gonna, like, count up all the games that people said, and, uh, whichever game has the most votes, they're gonna make that series next. So, this is very exciting, and if I were you guys, I would recommend going to Twitter or, or like, Instagram, and commenting, like, the Withered Wave FNAF 2 on all these posts, because we really want the Withered Animatronics, we want the Withered Animatronic plushies, mystery minis, action figures, Funko Pops, and other things like that. We really do need the Withered Wave, and it is very important that we do get this wave. So, if you guys don't want the Withered Wave, you can go to these Funko posts, and you can comment the actual games that you would like. Maybe there are some other games that you guys would like to see, such as FNAF AR or FNAF VR. This would be very exciting to see Funko actually doing this, and I honestly can't wait to see these. Now, in another piece of news that we have is, uh, the, uh, you know, Funko, like, statues for FNAF Security Breach. Now, these statues, in my opinion, are absolutely amazing, and the best piece of FNAF merch we have gotten this entire year. Now, I mean, just look at these statues and how highly detailed they are, and just all the things going on in them, they are so cool. So, the first statue, you know, with Glamrock Freddy, Gregory, and Vanny, and Glamrock Freddy, uh, having, like, hiding Gregory inside of his chest, a very cool thing, hiding from Vanny, and in the other one, uh, it says, uh, Vanny and the Protect Girl, uh, so, like, Vanny and Vanessa, so that is a very confusing thing that I will explain later, but, uh, the prices for these 
these in case you didn't pick them up are $50 each and they will probably be selling out soon just because of how rare they are probably uh these are very cool statues I really like how both of them look and we actually do have a release date for when these will come out on Amazon it says these will start shipping in February or April either one of those uh either one of those it is a very long time so that is very disappointing February or April those are very far away extremely far away dates so I'm pretty sure it's April actually either one of those dates uh that is a long time to wait for the security breach march which really sucks I was really excited to get this and I was hoping it would come out in like December or something but it really sadly is not coming out in December so that does really kind of suck but there is a whole bunch of hidden lore with these characters. So the first one, it's pretty obvious that one of the gameplay mechanics is we can hide inside the Glamrock animatronics. Looking at them, you see that they basically all have that chest cavity thing for Gregory to hide inside. Now this does show that the Glamrock animatronics are good guys, and I actually do think we will be playing as Gregory. I think we will be playing as Gregory, not just because, you know, that wouldn't really make sense if we played as the Protect Girl and we saw Gregory go inside the animatronics. It would make most sense if we were Gregory and we actually hid inside the animatronics. And I think we're Gregory because if you look at the trailer when Vanny jump scares you, if you keep replaying it, you actually see that Vanny looks down on you and you can actually see the ceiling when you look up at her. She sort of jumps down onto you. So I think that shows that we are playing as Gregory and, you know, we're like a small child looking up. You know, I mean, that just honestly makes the most sense with these characters. And the other thing with the Protect Girl and Vanny in that statue, how this could confirm that uh vanny and vanessa are the same character and you know what she says in the trailer gregory i'm sorry it was just a glitch uh something like that i think that means that she is actually that the protect girl is actually vanny i think that she's van i think that she's like you know vanny she helps out gregory and stuff and then she glitches out or gets controlled by glitch shop and then she's and then she turns into vanny that's why it says vanny and vanessa on the packaging and throughout uh, what we've heard of vanny and vanessa the names get swip swapped for uh, both of them so i do think that vanny is good is this like sort of same character now there is a point you could bring up to say that they aren't the same character how it doesn't say the name vanny on the glamrock freddy packaging even though her full body is there uh vanny glamrock freddy and gregory but it doesn't say vanny anywhere on the packaging and on the packaging uh it doesn't show vanny in the packaging for uh the glamrock freddy one and for the vanny package it doesn't show the protect girl anywhere on it so it might say vanny or vanessa to clear up confusion but it says vanny and vanessa so uh i'm not sure they could both be the same character i guess it doesn't make too much sense to me it does like i kind of get how they could be the same character and it also you know shows that like the glen <laughs> The Glamrock animatronics are going to be, uh, like, helpful, but then, uh, Glitchtrap will most likely possess them and they sort of attack you, so something like that. But, uh, yeah, that's it for today's news video. I really hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification, but please subscribe. So many of you aren't subscribed, and when you subscribe, you have a chance to win a Nightmare Cupcake plushie. So, yeah, that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you all later. Good.